back to action here on USWO Late Night. In the ring, we've got a special treat coming up for you. we got Chris Michaels, and he's taking on somebody. He doesn't even know who his opponent is. It's Ben Jordan. This is a feud six months in the making. Ben Jordan and Chris Michaels were fighting all over Columbia six months ago, and then a knee injury cut that feud short. Ben Jordan was out of action for half a year, but now he's back and ready to go. Yes, he is, and the special stipulations for this match, this is a throw in the white flag match, I guess. Both managers at ringside. Chris Danger's on the far side, Ben Jordan's wife here on the right hand side, you can barely see her on the edge of the screen. Both of them are equipped with a white flag, and when they feel that their wrestlers had enough, they throw in the flag, and of course, the opponent gets the win. Absolutely. Ben Jordan in there, he's showing off some of those brawling skills that he's a legend in Columbia for, punching the crap out of Chris Michaels and choking him off as well. Chris has already wrestled once this night. Earlier, he had to wrestle Jerry Lynn and got defeated, so he's already not doing too well. Ben Jordan has all the advantage in the world here. That's right, and Ben Jordan, he's, he knows he's got the advantage, and he's taking advantage of it right now. Punch to the head of Chris Michaels, another punch to the head of Chris Michaels, just throwing him down into the mat with his punches. See Chris Danger over there wiping his face with that towel. He's not, he, his man Chris Michaels isn't faring so well at this point. Well, you know, if I was a manager and I had Chris Danger in my corner, I don't know if I'd trust him throw that, that towel in or not because Chris Danger isn't thinking about nobody here but Chris Danger. No matter what he's telling Chris Michaels, oh, he's thinking about himself and he's not gonna throw that match, that towel in because he does not want to lose that higher winning purse, I guess you could say. Exactly. Now, Chris Michaels just went for a chop block right on the knee that was injured on Ben Jordan, kicking it now. Oh, yeah, he's taking the coward's way out here, quite frankly. He's using whatever means necessary. We've always said that in the past. And when you're in that ring, it's basically, you think you can go right enough, and that's exactly what he's doing. Kicks to that knee of Ben Jordan. I guess he's going to find out just how well, how good a shape Ben Jordan is. And think of Ben Jordan's wife, Jackie, on the outside, watching her husband in there. Now, she's been at home with him for the past six months. She's watched him slowly recover and rehab that knee. And here she's seeing this man, Chris Michaels, trying to destroy it once again. What's that going to do to her mind? Might that make her throw in the towel that much easier thinking about that long six months? Well, coming from a situation where a loved one had a bad knee, I can tell you another thing she's thinking about. She's thinking, oh my God, he's not gonna be able to walk. I'm not gonna do all that crap I had to do for him before. Hey, hey that would make me throw the flag in right there, buddy. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can't do when you only got one leg. And if you have to do all them things for someone else, you get sort of tired of helping after a little while. Style dog known for his uh, sympathy. But ben Jordan coming back. Those attacks of Chris Michaels didn't affect his punching hand one bit. Throwing him to the outside now. Giving chase. Following him out to the floor. Kind of gingerly though, moving a little bit slowly on that knee. One has to wonder if it's even completely recovered. Some knee injuries have a guy out for as much as a year. He took six months. You gotta wonder if it's 100% or not. You know, we've always said it about USWO wrestling. There's no pretty blue mats out on the floor. It's a dangerous place. And you know what? In Columbia, it's the same way. CWA Grand Slam USA. Columbia, Tennessee, every Saturday night. And they go out to the floor there, ain't nothing out there but concrete either. Might as well call it the Concrete Wrestling Alliance, and yes, that concrete is hard and cold. Ben Jordan now working over Chris Michaels with some punches to the face, using what brought him to this dance. And still punching him, just rocking him back. Chris Michaels might have a concussion by this point from those deadly blows to the head. I'd say he's out on his feet, but he's down on his knees. He's out on his knees, I guess you could say. <laughs> We're not even going to go there. Okay. Ben Jordan now has Chris Michaels down and out. He's daring Chris Danger to throw in that towel, but in this match, there is no submission. There is no pinfall. There's no way that the wrestlers can stop this match. The second has to throw in the white flag. They have to throw in that towel for this to be over. And Ben Jordan's telling Danger, hey, your man's out of it. Why don't you throw that flag in? Of course, like I said before, Danger's thinking about Danger. He's not about to throw that flag Danger might be very well to if Chris Michaels gets hurt here. If he gets put on the shelf, there goes Danger's meal ticket. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess he can look at future money, but right now he's thinking about current money. And slamming the head of Chris Knuckles into the turnbuckle, followed by a punch. Ben Jordan, he's once again telling Danger, throw that flag in. 
Ben Jordan, you can see he's relying a lot on that punch at the moment because obviously with the knee and the shape he is, he can't do the drop kick. He can't do a lot of the more high-flying-ish moves that he's been used to in the past. Now he's gonna have to rely on that big soup bone right hand, but looks like it's doing pretty well for him at the moment. That's right, Chris Michaels is out. If this is one of those matches where you don't answer the 10 count, I think he'd be winning. Oh, if this is a Texas death match, it'd be about over. But of course, Chris Danger on the outside, he has to throw in the towel, has not done that as of yet. No, he hasn't. Once again, Gordon going to work on Michaels in the corner, just punching, 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 punching. And then, he punches him again. <laughs> ben Jordan just trying to knock Chris Michaels out. If Chris Michaels is unconscious and can't stand up, I don't think they have any choice. He's going to have to throw in the towel. You know what I would do in this situation? Oh, would you do? I thought they'd punch Chris Danger and throw the towel in for him. That could be a valid point. And oh, he gets kicked off and down goes the referee. Referee is down. Michaels and is down. Jordan's Chris up and the towel is in the ring. Just thrown the towel at the instant the referee went down. Referee did not see it. Oh, oh Chris Danger is grabbing the towel away from Jackie, from Mrs. Jordan. And oh, I see what he's doing here. Now he's got the towel. Referee sees the towel in the ring, sees her without one, and he's going to call for the bell. Chris Michaels has gotten the win, but Ben Jordan isn't. <laughs> giving up the fight, I guess you could say. Absolutely the not. Out of Chris Michaels here. Ben yeah. is trying to explain what's going on to the ref. referees. All he sees is towels. Referee's decision and referees are, can be notoriously nearsighted at times. Kind of like a horse with blinders on. Danger over there celebrating, waving that towel, towel around. But <laughs> his man is still, I mean, Chris Michaels is about out in there. He's barely even moving with the impact of those punches now. And who is this? This is carnage. This is Chris Danger's hired gun, his big man mercenary, taking Ben Jordan up, giving him a headbutt. Back around, another one sends a man straight down. Chris Michaels, he got the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> Referee gets slammed by Carnage. Carnage just, he's an emotionless killer, showing no remorse here. Stomping on Ben Jordan now. Ben's just wrestled this match. He's basically rope a Chris Michaels to the point where he's got to be tired as well. Another headbutt sends him right down to the mat. Stomping on the head of Ben Jordan, this Carnage guy is. And stomping on the ref also. He doesn't care. He is. Chris Michaels is the brains for this guy. He tells him everything what to do. This guy just follows orders. So you're basically saying there's a big dumb lug just does what he's told. Well, uh, more of a robot, really. I mean, because you can't hurt the guy. Look at how big he is. And just handling him and the referee both here. And bailing out of the ring. Who we got coming in? The Devils. New Devils, Locust and Ludacris here.